Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to show how I use the tool, a silicone mat, in creating artwork. Now, it's a silicone mat that I use kind of in place of disposable scrap paper to put under my work while I'm working in wet media, like paint or collage, where I have a lot of glue that spills around. And this way, I can use it, the media will dry on the silicone mat, and then I can just clean it very easily and it's good to go again, and it looks pretty much like brand new. Now it's an easy piece to use, easy to store, and very inexpensive, and I find it a very valuable tool. So here's my little silicone mat that I use underneath my work when I'm either painting, or if I'm using gel medium, or if I'm doing collage, or Mod Podge, something like this. And it's just a little flimsy mat. As you can see, you can see my hand kind of through there, so it's very thin. I'm assuming they come in larger thicknesses, but it's also heat resistant. So it's a little more durable than just a plastic mat. When I purchased them, I purchased them in sets of three, and they come just in these clear envelopes. Here's a pretty blue one that hasn't been used yet. And I have this other one, this teal one that I like, and again, this is how nice and clean it looks and how it stays, believe it or not. I just store it on an empty paper towel roll. I roll them all together, the ones that I'm using, and just store them in my shelf this way. It just keeps them kind of flat and unwrinkly. But it's a very handy tool to have. Not only is it heat resistant, but these marks aren't permanent. They just take a little bit of washing. And I'll show you how I do that, but I do need a sink. So I'll go over there and I'll show you how I clean it up. So this is exactly what it looks like, how messy it is, before I wash it. Then going to my sink, I just put the stopper in, and that way I can trap any of the paint flakes that come off. Put the mat right down. I add just a couple of drops of dish detergent and then some water. I only need about an inch of water in the sink or so, and I have just a little plastic scrubber that I save and use just to clean my art supplies. And from here, I just scrub all the areas that are either covered with gel medium or with paint. It doesn't take a lot of work, and it's fairly easy to do. You can see the paint flecks start coming off because that plastic ultimately won't stick to the silicone in this mat. So I'll just go over all the little spots, flip it over to make sure I didn't have anything on the back. Then I'll do a quick rinse. At this point, I'll use a paper towel. I'll just swirl it around to pick up any of those paint flakes that remain, trap them in the paper towel, and then throw them out. Then I can just drain that water into the sink. Now from here, I'll dry my mat. We'll take a look at it. So I roll my silicone mat in a dish towel just to have it dry, and it comes out pretty clean. It doesn't look brand new, but pretty close. So that's how I use a silicone mat in my work. It's just something I use in place of scrap paper, just to make my work surface a little neater. If it makes a mess, I can roll it up and let it dry, and then clean it at will, or I can just leave it until it dries and clean it immediately. I can even let it sit for months at a time, which I've been known to do. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Have you used a silicone mat in your artwork? Let me know in the comments below.